Hello my beautiful superheroes! Welcome back to my channel, the place where we make the impossible possible. If you're new here, hi! I'm Scarlett Grace, I'm a manifestation coach and I help people break through their limitations and manifest their heart's desires. In this video, we're going to talk about why it is possible to manifest absolutely anything you desire in your physical reality with the law of assumption. But before we jump into this, if you want to learn how to manifest any desire fast with the law of assumption Neville Goddard's teachings, then start now by hitting the subscribe button and the bell icon so that you won't miss any video that could change your life. I also have several self-study courses to help you manifest, including a 21-day course on how to manifest your specific person. And if you need some extra help or my personal advice for your situation, coaching is now open. Right now all the spots for September are booked, but I've opened coaching for October, so if you want a coaching session for October, you can go and reserve your spot now. You can find the links for all the courses and the coaching in the description below. So I wanted to make this video because I still get questions from many of you asking, is this desire that I have possible to manifest? I feel it is impossible. Can I truly manifest this? Would the law of assumption work for this desire? The answer to this is yes. Anything is possible to manifest with a law of assumption. And here's why. Lots of you think that manifesting is about creating something in your physical reality. And that is only halfway true. So you do manifest something in your physical reality, or at least that's what it looks like from your perspective. But this is not how manifesting works. How manifesting works is this. There are infinite timelines, infinite parallel realities. Any possible version of how an event could go already exists on a timeline. Not necessarily the timeline you are in right now, but it already exists. It already has been created somewhere. So let's say that you want to get a specific job. You have a job interview. This can go a million different ways. Maybe you never get to the interview because your car breaks down. That's one version of reality. You never get to the interview. You never get the job. Another version is you miss the bus, you're late to the interview, you never actually have the interview, you don't get the job. Another version is you are there on time, you go to the interview, the interview goes terribly, you don't get the job. Another version is you're there on time, you go to the interview, the interview goes fantastic, you get the job. Another version is you never make it to the interview and you get hired anyway. So those are just a few possibilities. Every possible scenario of how this could go already exists on a different timeline. So each of those versions, they do not exist in the same timeline, of course. You cannot both get the job and not get the job. You cannot be on time and be late at the same time. Those are like individual versions of how the story could go and they exist in different timelines. So when you're manifesting, what happens is not that you are creating the version that you want from scratch. So if you're imagining that you got hired, you are not creating in your current timeline the events of being hired. What happens is you shift from this timeline where you are right now to the timeline, to one of the timelines where you actually got hired for that job. So that event, getting hired, already exists in that timeline. It is you that moves from the current timeline to that timeline where you got hired. It is not you creating the event from scratch. And because every possible version of how any possible event could go already exists on its own timeline, that is why it is possible to manifest anything you want, absolutely anything. And that is also why there are no easy manifestations and difficult manifestations. So that is another question I get a lot. Many of you think that because what you want seems too big, that it is difficult to manifest or maybe impossible. But that's not the case because all you have to do is switch from the timeline you are in right now to the one where your end result, your desire, already exists and is yours. And switching isn't more difficult or easier depending on how small or big your desire is. It may take a little bit more time in some cases if your current timeline is very far away from the one you want to go, but the process itself is not more difficult. You can picture it like this. Say that you have a desire that you feel is small and is easy to manifest. Imagine that this desire is like taking your car and driving five blocks down the road 
and you arrive at your destination. That's you getting to your desire. That's how far away that parallel reality where your desire is already yours physically is. And then you have a desire that you feel is super big. Maybe you want to become a billionaire and now you're broke at this very moment. So the only difference is that in that case, getting to your desire may be like driving to the next city over. So it may take a little bit of time. And by the way, that's not always the case. Maybe becoming a billionaire happens for you much faster than you think. But usually it may take a little bit more time to manifest a huge desire. What do you feels like a huge desire than the small one? But the process itself is not more difficult. It is easy for you to drive down the block. It is easy for you to drive to the next city over because you know how to drive. So the manifestation part is exactly the same. In both cases, whether you have a small desire, like a friend calling you to go out for drinks or a big desire, quote unquote big, like becoming a billionaire where now you're broke, the process is exactly the same. It's exactly like driving. It is something that you already know how to do. What you do is you imagine that you are already at your destination. So you are already a billionaire. You do not imagine the drive there. You imagine that you already live in that reality as a billionaire. And you imagine how you feel now that you're a billionaire. You imagine how you think differently and approach the world differently now that you're a billionaire. In the case of going out for drinks with a friend, you imagine what it would feel like to be out for drinks with that friend. So in both cases, you do exactly the same. In your mind, you go to that reality as if it's happening to you right now. You experience already having the thing you want and you feel the emotions associated with having the thing you want. Both of those are equally easy. One is not more difficult than the other. The only change is that in order to get to the reality where you are a billionaire, because it's several realities apart, in order to shift there, you may have to pass from several in-between realities. So it may, again may, that's not a guarantee, maybe it happens very fast, but in many cases it may take a little bit longer. But that's the only difference. The process is exactly the same and it is as easy to manifest going out for drinks with a friend as it is to manifest becoming a billionaire. The only problem is that because you are so far away from that reality of being a billionaire right now, you think it's difficult and you may have resistance to it because you think it's impossible. So it's not the process that is difficult. It is you thinking that it is difficult that is making it take longer than it actually has to take to manifest. The process is exactly the same. Both desires exist on a timeline and you can manifest them. And here's how you know that you absolutely can manifest the desire that you have. Having a desire is proof that you can have that thing in your physical reality. And I'm going to say this again because it is very, very important. If you have a desire and if in your mind you can feel as if you already have it, even for a moment, that is proof that you can manifest this desire. If something was impossible for you to manifest, you wouldn't even have the desire. It would never cross your mind to manifest it. You would never be able to imagine that you already have it and feel the joy of having it or the relief or whatever the feelings associated with having that desire are. Having the desire is proof that you can have the thing. So the next time you catch yourself worrying about whether your desire is possible or not, I want you to remember those two things. I want you to tell yourself, hey, if this desire was impossible for me to manifest, I wouldn't even have it. If I have it, that means that I, I can manifest it. That means that it exists on a timeline and every desire exists on a timeline. There is a timeline for every possible version of reality. So if I can desire it, that means I can have it. If I can desire it, that means that, that I can shift to the reality where it's already true. In fact, this is exactly why revision works. Revision is the technique where you change the past. And many people tell me you may change the memories of the past, but you cannot actually go back and change the past. Well, the reason revision works and changes the past is exactly because you do not go back you do not go back in time and change what happened. What you do is you go to a different timeline, you shift to a different reality where the past didn't happen the way you originally remember it. It happened differently and not your whole past, but the specific event that you're revising. Maybe you had a very humiliating moment in high school and that has haunted you ever since and you always feel awkward in front of a lot of people. 
That is the event that if you revise it in your mind, what happens is you transfer it to a timeline where that awkward moment, that embarrassing, humiliating moment never happened and it never affected you negatively and now you're very comfortable with people. And maybe that's the only thing that changed between your current timeline and that other timeline. But you're not going back in time and changing what happened. You just go to a different version of reality that has a different past for you. And you stay there. So when you wonder, is my desire possible to manifest? Or when you think that the past is the problem and you're stuck because of the past you had, remember, the fact that you have the desire in the first place is proof that you absolutely 100% can manifest it. And second, that desire as a physical event already exists in a parallel reality. All you have to do is switch to that parallel reality, nothing else. And there's no desire that cannot manifest because of the past you've had, because different versions of the past already exist in different timelines as well. So if you had an event that hurts you, that triggers you, that makes it feel as if your desire is impossible to manifest, all you have to do is use revision to go to a version of reality, a different timeline, where you had a different past. And whatever your past was, it isn't blocking you anymore because it's not your past anymore. You switch timelines, you have a different past now. You have a past that actually makes you feel that this desire is absolutely possible for you and all resistance is gone. So I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, give it a like. And if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon because I put out new videos every Sunday to help you manifest an amazing life.